Hello, in this video I'm going to explain how to implant a three-piece IOL, so I'm going to talk about the orientation, the injector, types of IOLs and cartridges, and the technique of implantation. A three-piece IOL is usually formed of an acrylic optic and PMMA haptics. Regarding the orientation, a three-piece IOL has to be implanted in a Z orientation and not in an S. The metal injector of a three-piece IOL has a plunger that has to be pushed first and then screwed to get the IOL out of the cartridge. There are two types of IOLs and cartridges that will be covered in this video. The first type is the Acrosoft of Alcon. It has thinner haptics that are easier to be bent and less broken. Alcon has produced three types of cartridges that are in use now, the B, C and D cartridges. The A cartridge is not usually used because of its large diameter. A B cartridge is the one of choice on implanting a three-piece IOL. However, this type of cartridges can be used in implanting any three-piece IOL and not only the Alcons. The B cartridge has a 3 mm diameter. The C and D cartridges are of smaller size, but they are mainly designed to implant one-piece foldable IOLs. But how to differentiate the B cartridge from the other ones? It has a terminal knob that is used to hang the haptic of the IOL and get it away from the plunger. You can also see a small letter that is denoting the type of the cartridge. And to load the IOL in the cartridge, follow the Z orientation which is drawn on the surface of the cartridge. Push the optic in the lower part of the gutter. Keep the haptic hanging at the outer surface of the knob in order to keep it away from the plunger and prevent its breakage during pushing the IOL. Alcon's cartridge is compatible with this injector. The wings of the cartridge are pushed into this groove until a click is heard. Then the IOL can be pushed by the plunger. But what will happen if you use a D cartridge with a three-piece IOL? In this case, a preloaded IOL was given to me by the assistant. I noticed that the leading haptic was becoming straight and there was lots of resistance while moving the IOL in the cartridge. In the end, a part of the cartridge herniated into the anterior chamber and I could not get the IOL outside of it. This happened due to mistakenly using a D cartridge with a smaller diameter and a tighter space for a three-piece IOL. And now moving to the sensor IOL, it is characterized by having a thicker haptic that is easier to be broken and not to be bent. This is the cartridge that is given by sensor, which is very similar to the cartridges of one-piece foldable IOLs. And again, this type of cartridge can be used with any type of a three-piece IOL. The IOL can be loaded by pushing the optic into the gutter. And then, make sure that the leading haptic is also inside the gutter. Close the leaflets of the cartridge and keep the trailing haptic hanging outside of it. This cartridge is compatible with this type of injector. The closed leaflets of the cartridge can be pushed into this groove until a click is hit. And then the IOL is pushed by the plunger. Moving to the implantation technique. The wound is usually dilated to be compatible with the size of the injector which is 3 mm. The key for implanting a three-piece IOL is keeping your eye on the orientation. And to keep the Z orientation, first rotate your hand to the right side while implanting the leading haptic and rotate it to the left side while implanting the optic. Then dial the IOL at the optic haptic junction to get the trailing haptic into the anterior chamber. Then insert the trailing haptic into the posterior chamber.
This is another example for the movement while implanting the leading haptic and the optic. Notice the rotation to the right and then the rotation to the left. So, to implant a 3-piece IOL, you can know that any IOL can go with a 3mm sized cartridge. And keep your eye on the orientation. Keep training until you reach a proper technique. Thanks a lot for watching.